Chief Meteorologist Chase Jones. Well, around late morning, you saw some of those low clouds push through, tried to rain, and then around lunchtime, everything cleared out, and then we made a good run at those upper 80s. Now, tomorrow's looking like a record high day as we could touch near those lower 90s. I believe the record is going to be 92 degrees, so we'll see if we don't push past that. Now, as the high pressure settles in and this short wave ridge clears out those skies, we're looking at the temperature change over the last 24 hours. You can see where that cloud cover started to push in as we fought back and forth with those lower 60s, then, of course, dropped all the way down to 58 degrees, and we made a good about 30 degrees degree run up into those upper 80s right now 89 in San Angelo earlier this week if not last weekend we were all the way down into those 60s 86 across everywhere else a good healthy combination of those upper to lower 80s across the entire Concho Valley 87 in Sterling City 86 down there in Junction Sonora is looking like the hot spot right now at 90 degrees but 10 degrees spread nowhere to be found across the entire Concho Valley of course hearing about the burn ban being reinstated so we're looking at the moisture values across the entire Concho Valley dew points are in those 60s and the humidity indices are in those 30s and those 40s down about 20 percent from yesterday but we could always use a little bit more moisture of course we never want to see us in some of those hazardous conditions across the entire region when we look at the upper level pattern still no rain there either in fact we're looking at some weak high pressures continue to hold around the Concho Valley. That'll keep us in those comfortable temperatures as we make our way closer towards homecoming. But we have our eye on this very powerful long wave trough that we could see some intense snow showers activity from across the four corners. And we'll see if it doesn't make its way down into the Concho Valley as some light rain. Now, when we talk about the water vapor imagery, when we're tracking some of these dry conditions, we're watching it stretch across the entire state of Texas. Now, the high pressure is keeping a lot of the storms up towards the north. You can see some pretty active activity pushing across. Montana, North Dakota, Minnesota all weekend and really into this week, but it's really staying stationary around the Concho Valley, even seeing some light cloud development around the Big Bend area. Now, when we look at the moisture tracker, not seeing a whole lot of humidity, just mostly some of the concentrations of blues and greens, but we're keeping our eye on the dry air. Take a good look at the size of this cold front shaping up as we make our way into the weekend. We'll see if that doesn't cool us down into some of those comfortable temperatures for the homecoming parade. Severe weather outlook completely quiet across the entire nation, except for down there in the Big Bend area. We'll see what that doesn't develop into but when we take you down to the surface, you can still see where these storms are primarily hanging to the north. Now, of course, we're looking at the high pressure across the more of the lower portion of the United States, but keeping our eye on the circulation off the west coast. When we take you into the future cast, that's where we're going to continue to watch where this system is going to go. We're keeping our eye on this cold front up towards the north, working with the system off the east coast, and we're having our eye on the area in the Concho Valley as we track the next system that makes its way through. You can sort of see how the cold front develops along sort of that tornado alley all the way down into the Concho Valley where we just see some light cloud cover by around Friday morning. Now, we have our eye on Friday night football as well as this weekend, hopefully seeing some rain, but it's looking pretty dry. So tonight, back down into the 60s, clearing out pretty quickly and pretty calm. And then tomorrow, same thing. It's going to be pretty calm, pretty clear, but it's going to heat up very quickly. So let's practice a lot of that hot weather safety. We're not out of it yet. I can't believe we're this late into October, and we're still holding on to some of those lower 90s. But as the weekend rolls around, we're going to watch those temperatures level out in those mid 80s. Pretty perfect as we make our way into that homecoming weekend as we get closer and closer towards towards Halloween, those temperatures will drop into those lower 80s, while those overnight lows continue to hang strong in those lower 60s, if not those upper 50s. Stay tuned up over the break. You're watching KSAN News at 5.